What's up, members of the Barrio? It's Jod coming to you from Oaxaca City, Oaxaca. And this is one of the most beautiful colonial cities in all of Mexico. And today we're gonna be walking around showing you some of the most important sites and giving you our impressions of this place after having been to so many different cities in Mexico. Look at this, it's like really colorful. You can see yellow, green, blue, everything. And it's just pretty, really, really magic and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it too. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do today is try some Oaxacan coffee. I've had a little bit so far, but this is one of the things that Oaxaca is most well known for. Oh, Americano, 25 pesos. Definitely lives up to the reputation. Second cup of coffee I've had so far in Oaxaca. Very, very good. As Adriana mentioned during the intro, I think the most distinctive thing about Oaxaca are the colors, the really colorful colonial buildings. Now, if you ask me, it reminds me a lot of Merida and maybe Guanajuato. What cities does it remind you of in Mexico? I think Merida. It's a lot like Merida. It's flat and the bullets are not so high. They're really short buildings uh, and really colorful. So yeah, it's more like Oaxaca, well, more like Merida for me. Yeah, we spent uh, two months living in Merida beautiful city. Now we're going to take you probably to the most famous building in all of Oaxaca City. We're in front of Templo Santo Domingo. This is one of the most popular meeting spots in the city. There's a nice square here right behind me at night. Uh, there's music, there's different performances, a couple of different things that you could do here. You can go inside the church. I don't really feel comfortable filming inside there. I don't want to bother anybody, so we're not going to film inside. You should check it out. There's also a botanical garden behind the church here. You need to take a two-hour guided tour. We don't have two hours today to do it, so if you're into yeah. that sort of thing, check it out. But there is a museum, Museo de las Culturas, I believe it's called. That we're going to go inside. I've heard it's one of the best museums in the entire city. So admission was about four U.S. dollars, and I can tell after being here only a couple of minutes completely worth the price. Also, I had to pay 45 pesos to film. I mean, I want to I want to show you guys the inside a little bit. Thank you, patrons. Thank you, patrons. <laughs> when I was in primary school and I was learning history from Mexico, my favorite part was when they talk about the indigenous and the past of Oaxaca. I don't know why. I, I love the sculptures and everything. It was my favorite one. Adriana's telling me this could be one of the most Instagrammable museums in Mexico that she's ever been to. <laughs> Beautiful. So when the couple comes out of the church, they start playing and put the dolls up and they have the party going until the house of the couple where the party is going to actually start. So I think it's a, actually something really cool and I don't think you're going to see it because uh, the wedding just started and we gotta go. Calle Alcala with the accent mark. This is pedestrian only street, pretty much leads right to the Zocalo. Uh, a lot of, I'm about to hit by a car, a lot of shops around, a lot of vendors here. Just to, obviously you see all the beautiful buildings. I just, I love the colonial style here and all the, the colorful brightness. Just kind of, it's a city that really makes you feel alive. Um, Christmas tree is decorated with a, with a lot of piñatas and some toys too. It looks really cool. How do you compare it to the one in Rockefeller Center? No offense to the Rockefeller Center, but this seems more creative. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these piñatas. He's right. We 
made it to the Zocalo. This is one of the most popular gathering spots in Oaxaca City. You've got a big church, you have a gazebo over there, a lot of families as well meeting up, which is what I love most about Mexico, I would say, is just the real family culture on a weekend, everyone coming together, spending time, sitting, going to restaurants, so much uh, going on around here. We are going to walk through, and we're going to go to one of the best free attractions in all of Oaxaca, trust me. We have dinosaurs in Mexico. Even you know that? All right, we've walked into Centro Cultural San Pablo. As I said, this place completely free. It used to be a convent. Now it's an art space, and you can walk around, take some really cool photo opportunities. So let's just go roam the hallways here, shall we? You know, when I mentioned I was going to Oaxaca to a lot of people, the first thing that came up was food, food, food. And the number one food that I kept hearing from people is clayuda. Now, I've had it before in Mexico, I've had it before in the US, but I've never had it in Oaxaca. So we're gonna try the most famous Oaxacan dish right now for lunch. We're at a spot called Azucena Zapoteca. I got this recommended to me by the hotel. What I like about it is it serves traditional Mexican food from Oaxaca and it's inside of an art gallery. So if you get bored at your table, you can just walk around and browse different art stuff. A very cool combination that I'm digging a lot. It's a tortilla with beans, cheese, and meat. I don't know if they put some other stuff. I'm not an expert, you can tell us in the comments. And some people call it the Mexican pizza and I can tell why. Mm. I can't believe that it's been almost 30 years of my life without eating this. First time trying Playuda in Oaxaca. Mm. I wouldn't say it's like pizza. I would say more it's like a hard shell tortilla with a lot of good stuff inside. Love the combo though of the pork and the beans. It's very good. That was a very solid meal of Playuda. For our next stop, well, I've got a little surprise. We're gonna go to a very cool part of the city that I don't think a lot of tourists know about. We need to find a cab. All right, we are in Barrio Xochimilco. This is the oldest neighborhood in the city. And I think that it's gonna have a lot of surprises for us. Apparently, it just looks like a very small village. Let's go explore. But first of all, there's nobody here. It's just completely deserted. It's amazing. We've got street art on this side right here. And then you look on the other side and you just have the same you know, beautiful colonial architecture that you see all over Oaxaca. And we're about a 20 minute walk or so from the center. So let's keep checking this out. I mean, we've covered the most famous food in Oaxaca, we've covered the coffee, but we've yet to cover one of the most important details, liquor. We're gonna try some mezcal. Get ready for this, guys. In my quest to help you guys travel smarter, I'm always looking for new websites and things to provide unique experiences, and I've just been such a fan of Airbnb experiences. They're not sponsoring this video. In fact, I'm about to pay for this mezcal tasting, but it just sold me so well. Having the ability to taste mezcal with a local and eat some mole at the same time, so we're paying for this out of our pocket. Special thanks to my Patreons for supporting us and helping us do things like this. Now let's get inside. Try to do in this uh, tasting is that uh, we can understand that there are actually differences in the plants, okay? And uh, not only in the aromas that we're gonna get to see and the flavors, but also and how they pair with the molis. It smells like flavors. wildflowers. That it can, it can compare. Wow. What? Too strong? strong flavor. A lot of flavors? Mm, I like it. Yeah, at the end. You feel it. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna taste the mole and then we're just gonna leave it here, then I'm gonna down it with a mezcal. That was what we were instructed to do. Whoa. Flavor explosion. 
so you know. It's very interesting. It's a lot more fun than wine tasting. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Seriously, this is such a fun city. Good food, good drink, good people. What else could you ask for? Uh, leave a comment down below if I miss something to do in Oaxaca. I'm curious, what should people do when they come here? Check out our other Mexico playlist, link down below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, until next time.